Well, I'm back at Savers again. This is VCS at Savers Part 2. And um, it's at the same location as before. And this one's still there. And this one is still there. And I'm getting that. And I'm getting that. Emerson, definitely. I told you when I was coming back and that was there, I would get this. And, but, these are the VCRs out for today. One, two, three, four single VCRs in one combo unit. And it's a Polaroid. They didn't make them. It's something else. So, I got a G8. I, I found this. Oh, I didn't put power on that. Okay, I found a Panasonic GE VG2042. A Sanyo VWM280. Two head monophonic. It doesn't say forehead on it. And it's, does this even have a forehead? It doesn't even say hi-fi stereo or whatever. I'm guessing this could be a two head because it doesn't say anything. And I bet there's gonna be... Oh, let me check. Alright, so it seems to be a rebatch Panasonic. And I found this pull... Yeah, again, I said that. This Polaroid VCR DVD combo model DVC 2000. Is the inside the curious? It might look like a Dave Wu mechanism, but I don't think it's made by Dave Wu. It acts similar to that, but I don't really know. It didn't say it in the, on the FCC ID, uh, according to when I looked it up. So I do not know. What is that? Ah, oh, dude, imagine if that was a portable VCR. Dude, that would definitely be mine, but it's just a vintage cassette deck. Hey, go ejects unusually too look at that all right we're getting off topic here and um again it's not made by day rule could have been made by someone else i know it's not day rule for a fact because it didn't say it in the, on the fcc id website when i looked up one of the models and what do you know it's coming back again again with these food i built shitty machines oh my god I'm, kind of, I'm almost done with those we already know what the inside looks like of that so we're not gonna use it but we're gonna see if it actually has a mode switch problem and there's a sony slv and 71 i used to have this model i know this model from the top of my head because i've seen this i didn't even read it when i first got i just remember this movie series when i first had it so that's gonna be it well so we're gonna test from vcr to vcr from from down from, from column to column, so we're going to test with GE first. So I'm gonna put a light in. Oh, it's not going in. Let's try that again. Hmm. Is it the cassette? Hmm. There's a crack there. Let's have a look good the tape looks. Okay, the tape looks okay. Maybe if I push it in a little bit more, it might go in. Hmm, I think the PCR is not working. Oh, got it this time. Let's see if we'll play. I mean, these rarely break, these chassis. Start fast forward. Okay, it seems like it works. I'm gonna eject it, see how well it does. Alright, I do need the tape, it might just need a little help being pushed in. Now let's check the Samuel out. VWM280. Here's the inside of it. It's just a two head. Pretty nice mechanism. Pretty fairly built. N not really too cheap like a Funai for example. Just tape in. That's where it goes in pretty slow. Will it play? Oh, I totally forgot to show you the inside. I'll be hold on. All right, take two. Stop. Let's see how fast the fast forward is on this. Stop. Fast forward. If it works.
Oh, okay, it has a... I mean, fast, it's just as fast as my VCIDB combo. Let's eject it. So, I think this one is working. Now, let's do the Polaroid. I mean, it, it acts a lot similar to a Day Wu VCI, but I don't... Again, I don't think this is made by Day Wu. It's made by another company. Again, I looked up the FCC ID on one of these models, and it didn't say Day Wu on it. Load. Oh, it says error. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn it off. Yeah, it says error. Maybe there's something wrong with the player. Let's eject. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna eat the tape. Power on. No, it's not gonna give me my tape back. Don't be like that, Sony. Oh wait. It's making a noise. Out. No, we didn't need it. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Now it's loading. Stop. Fast forward. Oh, these combo units are crap, but um. Oh, these combo units are crap, but they're not. But they're a lot better than the Funai ones. Oh, the ad is pretty noisy on this. Is it even turning like a set? Oh yeah, it is turning. And it is working. So, we'll eject that. If you want to see the inside of these combo units, I reviewed a Memorex combo on my channel. Um, I'll put the link in the description so you can find it easier. Okay, now for this Emerson. I think it's an EWV, EWD404, but I could be wrong. Does it say it here? Hmm, might say it on the back. Let me see. Very close, but I was off by one number. EWD403. Hmm, let's see if it's going to have a mode switch problem. This is weird. Fast forward. It's like every time, normally when I come across a combo unit of a Funai, it's like some most of the times the VCR acts up. Am I like lucky to find one that's working or something? I'm not getting one. And the last one is the Sony SLV N71. Oh, gotta show the inside of it first. There it is. It's like my SLV N81. And yeah, I did review this too on my a while ago too. See if it worked. I bet it's gonna work. I never seen any problems with this. I mean, there's like barely any problems with these machines right there. I'll fast forward. The display. I'd expect it, it works. As expected, so... Um, so, we already know, you guys already know what I'm getting. It's this one right here. The Emerson VCR 968. It's gonna be all mine. Right after I get someone to fix the, uh, price tag on it. Again, thanks for watching.